Hello, another beer review. So today we have a beer from Cloudwater. It's in collaboration with YouTube Brewing, who are from Japan, I think. Um, I'm very excited for this one. It's the latest installment in their V series, V15. Um, there's not a lot of blurb about this. Um, they put the bloody calories on it. I hate that. Um, but I did have a little do a little bit of research um i believe it's hopped with citra matueka and cascade um but i'm not certain on that that's you know i haven't heard that read that directly from cloudwater's website or from the can or anything like that that was like from a random online bottle shop who said that um so i could be wrong um, but I know this series is about using experimental techniques and stuff in their dippers so they can sort of, um, well, use them in their future dippers, which aren't in this series, I guess. Um, um, so, yeah, looking forward to this. Um, I've, this is only my second in the V series. My only other one I had was the V14, the only other sort of recent one, because they did put it on hiatus for a good few years. It was a bit before my time previous ones and that was like absolutely incredible so yeah really 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 looking forward to this i'm expecting it's gonna be a banger so let's get it into the glass i mean it's cloud water isn't it so i mean it's you'd expect it to be a high quality beverage smell it from here am i actually recording i am a bit paranoid sometimes um but yeah look at the color look at the color beautiful orange beer lovely head looks amazing let's go up and smell and it's it smells unreal it's a 10 day old can from point of recording on the 24th of november it was coming on the 14th it smells dank Herbal, sweaty. I know they don't sound like particularly appetising aromas, but trust me, in a beer like this, they are really pungent, sort of tropical fruit. Get mango, passion fruit, grapefruit, lime, lemon, orange, fresh orange juice, sort of smell there. Oh, it just smells unreal. I can't wait to get this down my gullet. So let's go in. Oh, fucking hell. I mean, yeah. It's insanely good. As I expected. I think we're probably heading for another high score on untapped here. It's just, yeah, it tastes like, I mean, it's 10 day old can, it tastes fresh, but it isn't like hot burn central or anything like that. It's just beautiful, perfect, I'd even say. Like, loads of overripe mango, peach, papaya, passion fruit, lime, it's dank, herbal, pungent, a little bit peppery, grapefruit, orange, a little melon, guava, I mean, uh, name any tropical fruit. And it's probably there. It is. It's so full of flavour. I mean, this is just cloud water at the absolute best. It's lovely, thick body, great mouthfeel. So sort of soft, velvety. Just yeah, creamy. Just delicious just oh, I mean it just leaves you wanting to go in for another sip 
every every time you have you know every time you finish your goal bit down you just want to go in again and get some more because it's just so good and that is like what you want in a dipper just perfect i mean it's eight percent abv pretty standard abv for dippers it it doesn't it doesn't really uh, show itself the abv you know there's no no sign of the booze on the way down or anything like that You know, it's almost dangerously drinkable. It's just, yeah, fantastic beer from Cloudwater and Uchu Brewing. Um, and yeah, yeah, if you, <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, I'd imagine this is sold out very quickly in a lot of places. So I'd, I'd say run out and get this. But yeah, if you can find any, definitely. I don't know if there'll be that many left it's you know it's one of them sort of hype beers i guess but it lives up to it it's fantastic so yeah definitely definitely want to seek out so yeah thank you for watching drop us your thoughts below give us a like subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully we'll see you on the next one cheers